looking at Florida Memorial before this weekend on paper, and you had to think that Southern could really sleepwalk through this game and still come away with a really solid victory at home. Barely beat Edward Waters last week, a team that the Jags routinely dismember. But still some question marks with Eric Dooley taking over the bluff and taking over the reins of this football program, mainly heading into spring ball into fall camp. Who was going to take the snaps under center? Well, we got that answered today in a big way. But Sean McCray, getting his first start at quarterback, he was pretty good. Even on the first drive, he looked really good. Going to step into the pocket, roll left, flip it to Gerard Sims, who trucks a defender and breezes into the end zone. 34-yard score and an easy 7 to nothing Southern win. So next Jags possession this time. Look at McCray using his feet. That's what he really does so well. And he's crazy athletic, using the vision to just move around some blockers again. 65-yard score. We've got two scores and 100 yards of offense and 14 points. And this defense, though, we got to get them involved. They feel left out. For Memorial quarterback is going to be sack stripped by Jordan Lewis. Somebody fall on it. I want it. You want it. We all want it. And Jordan Lewis maybe gets a strip sack of his own teammate. He gets a defensive touchdown, and the route is on. McCray's last throw of the night. Cornelius Dyson, the recipient, finger roll, 20-yard score, 42-0 Southern, not at the half. That's after one quarter. We're on a roll here, folks. Second quarter, we keep it going. The defense I'm talking about, Glenn Brown, and he's got a clean path to the end zone for the pick six. What a way to get the Eric Dooley era started on the bluff. They led 56 to nothing at the half. We had to call off the dogs big time in the second half, but I think that it was for the better. 86 to nothing Southern basketball on grass. You said it. McCray had two passing touchdowns, one rushing. Gerard Sims, he had two rushing scores. Even Bubba McDaniel got some run, threw one, ran one. About as good as a team effort as we can expect from this Southern team. All right, let's go back out to Mumford where Corey Roden is standing by with more. Yeah, Matt, like you said, what a way to start this Eric Dooley era here at Southern. Just a dominating performance. And yes, we know Florida Memorial is an NAIA school, but it was really awesome to see this offense in full force. Running back J.J. Sims was catching balls out of the backfield. Like you said, a receiving touchdown and a rushing touchdown. And defensively, Jordan Lewis looked really good. He played at Mike Linebacker, and he played at defensive end, and the defense had two touchdowns. Touchdowns of their own. As for the quarterback, Bishon McCray, we didn't even know he was getting to start until right up until kickoff, and he led the offense on five straight scoring possessions there in the first quarter, something that his coach was really proud of. I thought he was razor sharp. I'll be honest with you. I've seen uh, Bishon operate in practice, operate in scrimmages, but uh, today I, I saw a focus that, that I haven't seen before, uh, that I know he had the ability to do it, but that's what I expected out of any guy that got th out there behind the center. But I thought he was razor sharp, some things we still need to work on. Give us a lot. I mean, give us a lot of confidence. It boosts our confidence. I feel like we, we ran the offense pretty well. Um, we had two weeks to game plan, so I feel like we did good. It's little things we messed up on, but we'll fix it. Southern now goes from a lower level school in Florida Memorial to an SEC school. The Baton Rouge battle next week, LSU and Southern in Death Valley. And Coach Dooley said they have a few things they want to clean up, like way too many penalties, and then sometimes they didn't get lined up right. Here in the Bluff, I'm Corey Rolden, WBRZ Sports 2.